Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general love reading from mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to be for everybody. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. And also because it is general, the roles can be reversed, although I will be trying to focus mostly on your energy, all right, in this reading. So let's see, what is going on with Taurus? What are the main energies for July? Well, mid-July. We have Twin Flame, okay. So this is definitely going to be for those of you who do actually resonate with that type of a soul connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, twin flame don't get caught up on the label it's just a divine soul connection that feels to be very destined very deep okay um, there's a lot of challenges in this connection so let's see if you don't feel like that is your situation then this reading is probably not not your situation all right Taurus Let's see, what is going on? We're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, as well as the near future. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. I think that we had that for, um, I want to say Leo, but I'm not sure in that exact same position. All right, the Five of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so there was a shift here. I feel like, you know, this was a situation where there was a lot of love that was expressed in some way or another. And then it felt like there was some kind of a deceit or some kind of a betrayal, which kind of just turned things around. So it went from feeling everything was just romantic and lovey, um, a betrayal that just kind of changed the event of things or the way that things were unfolding. Let's see what's going on in the current situation. We have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the four of wands okay yeah see so definitely a very deep soul connection here okay there's a lot of love here um this is you know there's a sense of belonging with this person however i do see you trying to move away from that i feel like you feel like there has been um, a lot of pain you have been hurt it could be the other way around okay this could be um definitely could be your person here it really depends some of you might be cross watching um, but the way that I'm seeing is seeing this is that you are trying to leave this connection in the past, but I also feel like that is proving to be very difficult because you just feel this sense of belongingness with this person. All right, and you still feel that connection. You still feel like there is so much love here. So let's see what is coming up in the near future and then we'll clarify. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the seven of swords okay Taurus so things appear to still have um, some there's still some challenges coming up um, in the very near future okay so this isn't long term by any means although timelines can vary okay so it could be the end of July it could be early August it really d depends okay but it feels like I do feel like something is coming in here, okay, with this King of Pentacles. There's this, um, there's this potential for some kind of stability that is coming in. However, at the same time, there's also a sense of rejection. And it could be that you are the one to be rejecting the other person. It could be the other way around. But I do feel like somebody is kind of just still trying to move away from this connection. And it could be, it could even be you. Um, but we'll see. Let's clarify. It almost feels like you are kind of trying to turn your back 
to a person who now wants to come in um, offering you commitment or stability. Even though that makes you feel alone, even though it might make you feel sad, I feel like you're still kind of hesitating. But we'll see. So let's clarify that Five of Swords in the recent past. There's that Ace of Cups again, the Moon, and the Chariot. Yeah, so definitely a new direction here, and I feel like, you know, whatever it is that happened, whatever this betrayal was, um, there was some kind of a fear that was associated here, because it's like, you know, that love is there. There's definitely love, but it does feel like, you know, you felt like that love was also betrayed in some way, and that has created a lot of... Um, a lot of doubt, a lot of hesitation, a lot of possibly a lot of repressed emotions. It for some of you, it could even be that you are the one who um, betrayed this connection. Okay, it really does depend. But there was definitely some kind of a betrayal here that seems to have changed the direction, the course of where this was going, and it made things just feel very um, secretive hidden. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It almost comes through as like a little bit of recklessness, like somebody just taking a reckless path, even though there is love, but still just taking an impulsive reckless path because there was some kind of a fear here. All right, so clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune again. Yeah, I mean, it's just, a, there was a decision here, okay? I feel like if this is you, you made a decision to just turn the wheel, change the course of things, move in a completely different direction um, in the 3D, like just making new plans new plans that was um, away from this connection and there's a sense of this actually not feeling like that is true to you there's a sense of this actually being um, being a deception in a way so again I mean it could be that someone else betrayed you but because this is this reading is for you it it does come through as you kind of going against your own feelings away from a connection and maybe you did have solid valid reasons to do so okay so I'm not judging that this is it's just the energy all right it just feels like to you it felt like it was a little bit deceptive maybe because you were going against um, what you felt love wise right but maybe for you it felt like it was just the more practical thing to do was to just completely turn in a different direction and i feel like you did that with a lot of determinism and maybe for some of you you did that because you felt betrayed so let's see the current situation let's take a look at the six of swords It feels like it's the same kind of a message, actually. The Six of Swords followed by the Ace of Cups. It's like trying to leave this love in the past. So you're you're trying to continue on in this um, new direction here. All right, we have the King of Pentacles showing up again and the Four of Cups. So I do feel like there is a person here. Um, might be a, an Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Maybe they have some Earth in their chart. Again, doesn't have to be. But I do feel like there is a person here who wants um, stability with you, who wants a commitment with you, and seems to be actually very disappointed in the whole situation. I feel like you might be the one ignoring them, um, could be the other way around again, but either way it does come across as you being the one trying to leave this situation in the past, no matter how strong these feelings are, no matter how much you feel like you belong with this person. And for some of you, you might even know that this person can provide something stable, but maybe the issue is something completely different. 
it's almost like that stability is there. But there's something else that is keeping you away from this. Let me just clarify that Four of Wands. Alright, we have Judgment and we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, it does feel like this decision that you've made, it does come with some regret, but at the same time, it's also, um, you're still sticking to it. You're still trying to make that decision work. You're trying to see if you really can open up this new path, if you can have this new opportunity um, in this new direction that you're trying to take. For some of you, it could be that you've even actually changed again and made a decision to actually come back to this. And again, there's something here that is making you feel a little bit regretful, all right? So whatever that decision was, it's coming with a little bit of um, regret possibly having caused you some, some grief. Or that is what might be happening currently or coming up. So I feel like the message here is to, you know, just be very aware of the decisions that you are about to make. Let me actually clarify this Ace of Cups too. Let's get some more information here for you. Again, keep in mind, it could definitely be just tapping into your person's energy, even if you are the Taurus. Alright, the Nine of Swords, Temperance, and the Star. Okay, so you're getting some really major energies here. Again, this is definitely one of those connections that just, you know, can get very, very complicated. There's just a lot to it because there's a lot of lessons that are meant to be learned. Um, a lot of experiences to be gained, which is for your own soul growth here. I do feel like this connection is being guided, alright, that there is definitely divine love here but it is at the moment causing a lot of stress. I feel like you are in a very difficult um, time period in this journey with this particular connection. However, you are having some support. You do have guidance, you do have support. And I feel like all of this, whatever it is that's happening and whatever these decisions are that you are making or trying to stick to, you are healing through that. You are finding some kind of a balance. And yes, it will come with some, some stress. Yes, it will come with some, um, you know, feeling a little bit of grief. But know that this is going to pass. A lot of this is also how you choose to perceive it. So it does feel like things are a little difficult for you um, at the moment. But you you turning your back to this is definitely creating a lot of um, discomfort for the other person. I feel like it's also difficult for you at the same time. It's almost like, you know, you feel like if you were to follow your heart, you know, it would, that that would also cause stress. And again, I feel like for some of you, you've kind of gone a little back and forth. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to what is going on coming up because I feel like things at the moment are just very, very complicated for you. Let's see this King of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Empress, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, wow. Okay, so I actually feel like this is you. There is definitely someone here as well who does want commitment with you, um, but I feel like this is you finding your own stability because I feel like at the moment, currently, you're not feeling very stable. 
within your own self. You're not feeling, feeling very stable within your own um, emotions and you're also, it feels like you're not very certain about the decisions that you have already made in the past. It feels like, you know, you, you made decisions with a lot of determinism in the past, but now it's almost like you're doubting them or you're trying to stick to something that might not be serving you anymore, whatever that decision was. And so for some of you, I feel like this isn't for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like you kind of went back on that and then it still caused you some grief. And so you're, you know, that's why you were like, okay, see, I should, I should have stuck to it. But then for those of you who have stuck to it, it's still kind of creating a lot of, um, complications for you in one way or another, a lot of stress. And so I feel like, you know, this is just all about, you know, finding what are the lessons that I'm supposed to learn here? What am I supposed to understand about my own self through this, through this experience that I am going through? And so I do, I do feel like you're doing that. I feel like it's just going to be kind of like very, very suddenly in the near future where you just suddenly feel very, very grounded, feeling like you totally have control over the situation, over your emotions, over your life, over the past and whatever it is that has happened in the past. And because you do feel so um, empowered about the decisions that you have made and accepting of the decisions that you have made, knowing that whatever it was, there was a reason for it, that is opening up the door for you to move forward with this Ace of Wands. Finding some passion again in your life, finding some kind of a motivation, finding some kind of a drive to push you forward. So I don't know how this will relate to your um, love connection here, but this is what all of this is about. So this is actually feeling good even about the fact that you may have been alone or the fact that you may might have feel like you need to be alone for a little while. Let's actually clarify that Five of Pentacles. Three of Cups and Strength. Yeah, okay. So this is you actually finding that strength within yourself, right? At, when you become this King of Pentacles, um, really empowered within yourself. That is giving you the strength, again, to be able to enjoy life. All right, being social. Possibly even having a reconciliation with somebody. Um... This is all about accepting either a rejection, an abandonment, or if you were the one who did that, you know, really becoming strong in whatever way you need to when it comes to that. And then being able to enjoy life and deciding what is it that you want to go back to. And what is it that you don't want to go back to. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. All right, we have the Magician. Okay, yeah, see, so the message for you here is that, you know, you are in control. You have everything that you need in order to make things happen in the way that you want them to happen. You have everything that you need in order to manifest what it is that you want in your life. Okay? And a lot of that is going to be dependent on not avoiding how you truly feel, not making decisions based on how you think you should feel, but actually making decisions based on how you truly feel. Not sneaking away from your own self. In other words, that is when you will be able to manifest. And I do see that coming up for you here, okay? And you being able to do that. All right, Taurus. Started out a little heavy, but I feel like I feel like you're moving in the right direction here. And you know, be proud, be proud because I feel like this was definitely you know, um, a difficult reading, um, just difficult energies to have to work through, but I feel like you, you're you gaining that strength. You're finding that strength within yourself, so be proud of yourself. You're never given anything that is too difficult for you to handle. 
So let's get the final oracle message for you, if this resonated. All right, and we have the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Yes, conclusions to this difficulty, okay? Those are the conclusions, or just take this message as it resonates, but the conclusions are within your reach, all right? You are that magician. You can make that happen. So, Taurus, those were the messages for you for July, um, mid-July 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.